when my grandfather had this dream, he was in the grocery business. He had a grocery store on Magnolia Street called the Crescent Market, and it was down there by the port. We had a relative in San Antonio, Texas. They still are in business today. They're probably older than we are. It's called Rico's. They do concessions, and they had a peanut roaster, and they, you know, told my grandfather, who was their first cousin, said, Charlie, well, instead of you, you can make more profit if you roasted your own coffee. And he said, well, I don't have a coffee roaster. And they said, well, you do now. You can take our peanut roaster and, you know, buy green coffee and roast it yourself and sell it to them. Well, he did. And he was successful with it. And they loved it because it was a very, very strong dark roast coffee that he happened to produce. And so that's how he got into the coffee business. And he brought in two partners later on as the business began to grow. And they were relatives, you know. <laughs> it was always relatives. So he got with Mr. Maceo and Mr. Serio, and they incorporated and came over here in 1926, the location we're standing on today. Uh, and so the Serio family's always been a part of this company, just like the Maceo and the Fertitta and the Bashami and the Totoris and the Parigi uh, and the Messinas. Uh, you know, all of those families uh, were all relatives. They were sons and sons-in-laws of the original partners. Uh, and so that's how the company flourished. Jake Totoris, my father Pep Fertitta, Mr. Maceo and Mr. Serio. And that's when that first shipment of coffee was coming in from the SS Del Rio. So it was, it was a big deal. My grandfather set that up to buy coffee directly from Brazil. We were buying it through a broker before and he had the idea to save money, buy directly and you know, directly from the, uh, the farmers. And so he set that up and unfortunately, just about a month later, he passed away. So coffee has evolved uh, and, you know, originally we had a soft pack in 26 ounce and, and 16 ounce and uh, that did real well. And then NASA came in with a new uh, technology of vacuum packing and we, Texas Coffee, was actually the first company to vacuum pack coffee in 1968. It was kind of groundbreaking. So now we have the soft valve packs, we have the Seaport K-Cups, and we have a full line of Text Choice seasonings. Uh, I've been a roast master here for almost 20 years. Most of our coffee comes from Central America. And so we, we blend those and pull them together and make, make up blends that we've, we've devised ourselves. Ours are 100% coffee beans. They're Arabica beans. That's the best coffee you can buy. There's no fillers, there's no trash, there's no sticks, there's no stones. We're taking green coffee and taking it through the entire process and making it the kind of roast we want and we think people will enjoy. Our, our most popular roast is the Seaport Dark Roast. And it still always has been the standard we go by and people still love it more than anything. Of course, we have the between dark and, dark and medium roast. Uh, between was actually invented by my grandfather. Uh, we also have Tex Choi, uh, Founder's Choice, uh, uh, Texas Coffee, the uh, uh, Spindle Top Blend. Uh, yeah, it really is a, 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 you know, a, a collective of people working together for one common goal. And our common goal is to provide all the stuff that makes your food taste good and your morning better. And here we are now celebrating 100 years at the Texas Coffee Company.